What's going on guys? Chad Beck with you here on the RC Models and More channel where we do all things DJI, FPV, models every once in a while. So I try to update here, eh, kind of every day. So check back, subscribe if you would like. Let's get to the video here. So with the recent firmware update there on the Mavics and other DJI products, there have been a few complaints of certain things that are going on. I hate to use the word complaints because you know how they always say 10,000 people um, have things go right for them and then a few don't and they try to spoil it for everybody. I mean that's kind of maybe what's going on but the reason why I'm making this is I have experienced this video I've I have experienced this issue before and I think it's uh, something that really frustrates people and it's disconnects and the whole thing that I want to show is you know what is a disconnect if you look at my Mavic I am actually running uh, to the tablet through the bottom port here and not the the typical side port and there's a couple reasons for that the main reason is I'm using a tablet the second reason is when I first got my Mavic, I started getting disconnects, so I did not trust it. Now, I did solve the problem, and I can use it with my phone and the side jack and everything, but I prefer using the tablet, so I know my problem is fixed. Um, real quick, there is a few general things for new people in, um, in case we don't uh, so we can cover everybody here the first thing you want to do obviously is check your USB cord for Android check your lightning cord whatever see if that's faulty um, try going from the bottom port of you know the Mavic into the smart device and see if you still get a disconnect um, try to rule out as many things as you can before you proceed to the next part of the problem. So I'm gonna let me turn the Mavic on and everything here real quick and I'll show you what the disconnects look like. So, and I mean quite honestly, there can be a couple different kind of disconnects. Um, basically, you can get a entire disconnect where everything goes from that right there to that where basically it says it's connecting now in a perfect world if this happens your Mavic should automatically return to home if you have everything set up correct that is you have it set up to return to home in the DJI Go 4 app when you lose connection some people skip that step and they have it set up as hover or land and then you would have obviously a bad issue. Now the other, other kind of disconnect that is more likely that people are seeing is what I saw which is basically a total loss of video where everything basically goes away. So if I unplug my cord you can see that it will say disconnected and these up here these values up here go blank and go to NA and then I could restart everything and everything is just beautiful and fine so if I plug it back in everything pops right back up as you can see <clears throat> beautifully so that basically comes down to well what's going on here is it an app problem is it a controller problem is it a Mavic problem and the easy answer is it's really hard to say you really, you really have to just follow all of the main steps so what I did was I made sure that all of my cabling and my ports were okay and clean and there wasn't dust buddies in there and messing up everything the other thing to do, especially I notice with iOS devices, is as they start to wear out, you'll notice that you can plug your lightning cable in one way and it won't work, but if you turn it and plug it in that way, it will work. 
So test that out at home on your home charger as well. So the biggest thing to do after you've already done all that stuff is you have to go in and mess with the firmware, which is probably what caused your problem to begin with. Um, everybody hates doing it. it. It seems to be, there seems to be some issues sometimes with updating these. Um, I personally have had an issue with my older Mavic, with Mavic number two and with Phantom four. I've had no issues. So the best way to do that is not through the app, but it's through the DJI assistant. Let me line the camera up here and zoom in. Now the DJI Assistant is a computer program that you will have to use. Um, I have right now my DJI goggles plugged into them just to show you exactly what uh, you would be looking at as far as the app goes. Plug it in here and get everything going. All right, we're actually going to hook up Mavic here because for some reason the goggles don't want to cooperate right now. See, it's just the little things that you always run into. So when we open up the assistant, basically what it's going to do is it's going to pull up all of your different firmware versions. So you can see right here, it says current 1.03.08. Then it has all the rest of them and then it has downgrade. So if you're getting disconnects, you can either go about this one or two ways. You can reinstall the firmware that you already have on there, or you can downgrade, or you can downgrade and then reinstall again. There's really no rhyme or reason to it on how it's gonna work. Just make sure that everything is plugged in. You don't need your app running or nothing, but turn your RC on, turn on the Mavic, and do it this way. Then when you go back and do the app, then you can do all of your batteries and all that kind of stuff again, over and over again. So then the other thing that you can do is rebind your remote control. And this is pretty easy. Right inside the remote controller, menu here on the go for app down here at the bottom there's a button you click on this button that says linking remote control you click that you open up the side panel here on the mavic where the wi-fi and all that is and you press that little button right there it takes like a second and that will rebind your remote all that doesn't work it really sucks but just try and try again try reloading and uploading and downgrading and everything all of that different firmware eventually everything will take it's there's this the people at DJI when you call them are going to tell you the same thing now obviously if you do this four five six times and it doesn't work then you know somehow your bird got bricked by a firmware update and that really sucks but let's hope that that doesn't happen to very many people so just follow the steps check your cords rebind your remote upgrade downgrade software don't forget to check all of your different settings and everything just be really mindful and everything when it comes to doing uh these kind of updates and keep track Patience is a virtue when it comes to doing these type of things. Um, if you didn't watch my previous video, do this stuff at home. Um, don't do this stuff out in the field. Don't do this. Uh, if you have a Mavic and you haven't updated it and you want to and you're a 107 person, uh, turn it on right now and update it. Don't wait until you get to and have to... Uh, make excuses to your client and then try to blame it on DJI. It's your fault for not taking care of your equipment and keeping up to date with what's going on. So anyway, that's it. Hopefully this helps. That sequence has helped me when I first got my second Mavic and was having disconnects. That's disconnect number two. I still had telemetry here but I had no video, all right? That's 
the other that's one of the two kinds a full disconnect do the same thing see what happens it's a little bit more dangerous obviously because you could lose control of your bird but just keep it close don't fly it far actually you can test this stuff on the bench so just leave it on the bench and let it run and see if it connects and disconnects mine did you don't need to take it out into the field if it run mine was disconnecting after like 15 20 30 seconds so you don't really have to take this thing out and fly it a half mile away to see if it disconnects if it works on your bench for five minutes it's going to work out in the field jiggle, jiggle your cables and everything like that so hopefully you guys uh, found this uh helpful and stayed to the end so you mi didn't miss out anything really nothing new um but it's just got to go over this stuff sometimes uh for people that are still new to the hobby so anyway guys we'll see you later